Hi everyone, this is Mike Simmons, uh, advisor at Tesserae Yearbook in Upstate New York. Uh, on behalf of NSPA and the Campaign 2020 Photo Exchange Project, I wanted to show you just a little bit about navigating the archive. From studentpress.org slash NSPA, the landing page for NSPA, you can come right here into the middle to Campaign 2020 Photo Exchange. And if you click there, you'll be taken to uh, some information uh, about the project, including kind of this basics overview, how to contribute here in the middle, and how to download here. Don't miss this student-produced video about the exchange that comes to us uh, from the Harker School in California and Ellen Austin's crew there. They did a beautiful job with it. I want to talk with you about accessing the photos to download them and, and use them uh, to have your students use them in a publication. If you come down here to the bottom and click on the Flickr archive, you'll be taken to the NSPA ACP site uh, or account within Flickr. Now, if you uh, just come to the splash page. You'll go to a photo stream that has the most recently uploaded photos um, there. No real organization and you can't really get where you want to get. We'll come back to that in a second. If you though have your students click on albums, uh, however, you'll see that everything is uh, nice and alphabetical here. Uh, I, as one of the moderators and other folks involved, we are organizing these uh, by the candidate's last name uh, if one applies or by location or event. So climate strike goes under C, Iowa caucuses, miscellaneous goes under I, but content for Beto O'Rourke would be under O, Sanders and S, and so on. Now, if that uh, works for you, uh, then we're in good shape. We can come into the uh, California Democratic Convention, and let's say we've got this photo of uh, Booker over here. I can scroll down um, get whatever uh, information I need to as it goes to the uh, photographer and whatnot. And then I've got download uh, right here and I can download the original uh, about 5,000 by 3,000 pixels. All of that is fantastic and as it should be, um, that's the, uh, the site working just how we want it to. But if I go back to uh, the NSPA account and to PhotoStream and I don't want to deal with the albums, there is a search right over here on the right hand side. There we go. This little search button, if I click here, you can see it puts in um, a limiter in the search field for Flickr that it is looking only at the NSPA account. So here I can type in uh, Sanders and I'm taken to all of the photos that have Sanders uh, there. Let me come up here. Let me type Iowa type Iowa, and I can have all of the content that came in uh, from the students that were shooting in Iowa. So again, just show you that real quick. Uh, this would be the landing page from the NSPA site. I'm in PhotoStream. I come over here to the right hand side to the search, and then that puts in a search limiter up here top right in the Flickr search string overall. And once again, uh, how I started, you can also go to albums those are alphabetical, and as we get more photos, uh, we will continue generating new albums. Uh, we're up nearly at uh, 800. We've got 796 photos as of this morning. Uh, so way to go, all of you advisors and uh, student photographers out there. We're so happy to have you participating. And as we continue through the primary process and beyond, uh, those of you uh, who have primaries upcoming and candidates are making their presence known throughout your state, uh, get your students out there and get these photos. It's uh, for everyone's benefit, and, uh, and we're glad to have you in as part of the process. Take care.